At this point, I would like to summarize briefly the material we've seen in the previous videos about horizontal flight performance. Now, we discovered that there are four interesting performance parameters in horizontal flight. First being the minimum airspeed, second the maximum airspeed, third maximum range, and fourth maximum endurance. Now by now you should be able to calculate all these parameters based on the equations of motion if you are provided with two sets of data representing an aircraft. First, the aerodynamic characteristics of an aircraft in the form of a lift drag polar, and second, the basic propulsion system characteristics in terms of thrust or power available as a function of airspeed. Now, in addition, we saw that all aircraft flying quite slow, below the airspeed for minimum drag, are unstable with respect to airspeed. Now, this effect is one that you need to be aware of, and you should be able to understand why all aircraft have this speed stability problem based on the general equations of motion. Now, you do not have to be able to perform calculations related to this speed stability characteristics. In all my previous example calculations and derivations for horizontal flight performance, I used the spirit of St. Louis, a propeller aircraft which, which was the first to cross the Atlantic. Now, as you know, propeller aircraft have different characteristics than jet aircraft. And this can be seen quite clearly from a typical performance diagram. Because of this different behavior, which you see in these two diagrams here, Calculating the four performance parameters will be slightly different. The basic methodology or approach is however identical to the calculations for propeller aircraft. Now therefore, I would like to challenge you to have a look at the homework and additional material for jet aircraft on the edX website. Now if you are able to do the performance calculations all by yourself for a typical jet aircraft as represented here, then you have mastered the material I have taught you completely. Now you should be, then be fully prepared to go to the next topic, which is climbing and descending flight. Now you will see next time that for the, this topic, we can still use the performance diagrams, but we require somewhat more complex equations of motion.